with his victory over Kota Ibushi in the G1 Finals, Hiroshi Tanahashi became the three-time winner of the G1 Climax Tournament and began what he calls the complete comeback. This victory seemed unlikely, as many had been expecting Tanahashi to fade into the twilight of his career. He'd been hampered with injuries and needed to take time off just months earlier after a brutal bout with the sadistic Minoru Suzuki. This is opponent's finishers. Changes oh, direction. Wow. Lands on the knees. Got that knee hook. Drags it to the oh, center. Oh, oh. oh look Heel at that. Hook. Oh, my God. He'll snap the Achilles tendon. The Tata's in agony. And if you're Tata Hockey, oh. this is the last place you want to be. Calls for the bell. We've got a referee stop. It's a great call. He could not let it go on anymore. There are no smiles on anybody's face. There will be no air guitar played tonight. There will be no encores. There will be MRIs. There will be x-rays. There will be questions about the future for Hiroshi Tanahashi. But what seemed like the end was truly a new beginning for the once in a century talent as he used his iron will to come back from those injuries and win the G1 Climax and a contract for a title match at Wrestle Kingdom. But to truly continue on a complete comeback, there is a man Tanahashi wanted to beat. Tokyo Dome, Chosen Kenji Show. Naite. Boku no kibou ga arimasu. Okada wo taoshita ue de Dome ni ikitai. Tanahashi hadn't beaten his career rival, the rainmaker Kazuchika Okada, in almost four years. Just over a month later, at a sold out and jam packed destruction in Kobe, this storied rivalry added another chapter. But can the 41-year-old survive the competition and fully complete his comeback at Wrestle Kingdom? Hiroshi Tanahashi certainly thinks so. Make sure you follow New Japan World and all of New Japan's social media because The Wire isn't the only new show coming to you this month. We've got the top five, the recount, and more. Thanks for joining us.